Today we will cover three ways to install Homebrew on your PlayStation Vita. These methods work for any hacked Vita. For both method 1 and 2 you will need Vita Shell on your Vita. For method 1 you will need to know how to FTP into your Vita. For method 2 you will need the Flow's Download Enabler plugin. You will also need ITLS Enzo if you are on firmware 3.65 or lower. For method 3 you will need the Vita Homebrew browser installed. Check out this video's description and the Wilson Minutes linked now for more help with these. For method 1, download the VPK you would like to install using your computer. Connect to your Vita via FTP. Navigate to UXO then data and copy your VPK file to this directory. Return to Vita shell and navigate to UX0 data. You will see the VPK. Highlight it and press X three times to select, install, and confirm the installation. It will install and you will have a new icon on your home screen. For method 2, once you've met the prerequisites, download the VPK you wish to install using the built-in web browser. The install process is the same as method 1, but you will need to go to UX0 download instead. From here, select your VPK. The final method is the most user-friendly. Open the Vita Homebrew browser and click the Homebrew in the list. Click the download button. The Homebrew will install and be added to your home screen. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wilson Minute. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and if applicable, watch the next and previous videos in this series. If you would like to help support this channel, I have listed ways to do so in the video's description. Now get out there and apply your newfound knowledge.